Okay, I'm here with my coach, Joshua Cumber. We just had a super solid day getting back to the basics, those little triggers that I always need to be mindful of that are always my tendencies I tend to get away from, um, but he's got me back on track. So really good stuff. Josh, you wanna talk, talk to us a little bit about what those things are? Sure, I mean, my big thing in coaching is getting a player to understand their tendencies. And we've always been working on that with Marissa. And we've got three things that she's focusing on. And one of the big keys is getting her backswing and her connection in the golf swing to be better. So she's got a great little drill that she does for that, that she's able to check on her own. And then also the first move of the downswing for her is getting the club to be a little bit more in front of her and the arms on the trunk and then rotating through and, and releasing the club a little more with her body. So we've got some drills that she can do with that. It was a great day kind of identifying that. And for the biggest thing from Marissa, again, tendencies, identifying and feeling what Marissa needs to do so she can make split second, second judgments on the course and be able to get right back on track. It's a good day. Like we said, there's Andrea in the back. <laughs> We're killing it. It's an absolute beautiful day out here. Hey guys, I'm here at Trump National in Doral, Florida in Miami. I went to the Rick Smith Performance Center and they have some awesome cutting edge technology that I was able to spend a good amount of time on. I was struggling a little bit with how I was distributing my weight throughout the swing. Um, and I really need to make sure that I'm loading best onto my right side through the back swing and then firing to my left side through impact, um, which I wasn't doing as well as I could be. So I spent a lot of time on these force plates where you can actually see the weight being distributed and shifting from the right side to the left. Um, you have instant feedback and how to optimize your numbers. Um, really cool stuff that it was really cool in order to optimize what I need to do and make sure that you know I can see the difference between feel and real and kind of take some time on those plates figuring out what I need to do um, in order to strike the ball best. So awesome afternoon. It is raining behind me now, um, but there is an overhang, which is great. So super, super grateful for that. Got into some good work and I feel great about where I'm heading. So I'm here today at Hollywood Beach Golf Course. They have an awesome full swing simulator at their facility. So I was able to really take advantage of the rainy day and stay productive uh, despite the rain um, and get in some really solid work after I went over to Doral yesterday and learned about what I needed to do to make sure that I was loading my weight best onto my right side through the back swing and then through impact transferring it over to the left side. Um, so my swing speed went up, felt super solid hitting the golf ball. Um, and now it's not raining quite hard enough uh, to prevent me from going on the course. So I'm gonna go back, take it out um, on the course and see how it goes in play. I went to the range this morning, got some solid, solid work done, making sure that I'm maintaining a really good weight transfer and loading on my right side and then shifting over to my left side through impact really well, um, while also maintaining some structure with my arms throughout the swing. Overall, it felt great, uh, really good. Uh, I also picked up on a little trigger with my alignment. I realized that my tendency is always to be slightly right of where it needs to be, um, and when I get that squared up, that I can really go after it and, and rotate through the ball really well. So I feel good about the session, and I'm heading out for the day, and then pick it up on the course tomorrow. So now that I've done good mechanical work, I need to get more into the athletic, artistic side of my brain, which is the right side of my brain and making sure that I'm taking a deep breath behind the ball and visualizing everything before I walk in. I did not carry this bunker like I thought I would for my drive. Or 
gonna crush it out of here right by the flag. So I hit a good bunker shot out. I didn't stick it quite as close as I had envisioned, but you know, you gotta pump yourself up for that. So I did hit a good shot, which I was happy with. Tipped it up close, safe bunker. So it was definitely a solid week here in sunny South Florida before we head over to the Maryland Open. Um, I definitely enjoyed my time at Doral. I thought that was very, very valuable um, and made the adjustments that I could over the course of the week before I had to get back into competition mode um, to be ready to compete in Maryland. So definitely will be a little bit colder weather uh, and some rain, but I am a Clemson Tiger and Coach Sweeney always taught me the harder it gets, the better we play. So with that mindset and after my phone call with my coach Martha Cobo and the assistance of my sponsors, Murray Street Capital Advisors and Celsius, we're ready to go. Thank you.